Now, today's top stories in Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi everybody, let's take a look at today's top stories. Cuyahoga County health officials say the number of COVID cases in Greater Cleveland are dropping from the peak around the first of the year, almost at the same rate they spiked. What that tells us is that Omicron has burned through the population very quickly among those that were exposed. But while there may be some hope in those numbers, the case rate in Cuyahoga County is still eight times the CDC threshold for high transmission, meaning we still have a ways to go. A bust brought in the largest amount of cash police in Springfield Township have ever seized. Springfield Police and U.S. Marshals searched a home on Edith Avenue twice and a store on Albrecht Avenue once. They seized eight guns, including an AR-15, 10 pounds of marijuana, and more than $600,000 in cash from that home, and 10 gambling machines and a gun from the store. A 39-year-old man now faces charges. Cities are making progress, digging out from the snowstorm. Cleveland says two-thirds of residential streets have now been plowed twice, and in Akron, the mayor's office says all of their streets are now open and passable. Oh, Mark, and now we get set for the cold. Whew, yeah, the snow is going to be minimal for the next uh, couple of weeks. I think it's going to be the cold that will be uh, the most notable here. Beginning tonight, a low near 17. Cloudy, cooler, a little light lake effect snow to the east. Same story tomorrow. A little uh, lake effect snow streamer coming in uh, east of Cleveland. 20, that'll do it. Wind chills, single digits. 20 on Friday, Saturday morning near zero. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.